hey guys happy weekend and welcome back to another weekend vibes hope you're having a wonderful weekend today we'll be making some duck curry and cassava roti and as you can see the guys are busy cleaning the duck so we'll clean the duck then we'll roast it chop it up wash it and then we'll be ready to cook so stick around and hope you enjoy So guys, for the cassava roti, it's something we never made before. We heard of it, but we never tried it. So today we decided to give it a try. The concept is same as potato roti. So here we have some fresh cassava that we peel and wash. We'll grate some to mix in the dough and we'll boil some to mash for the filling. So guys, here we are putting the rest of the cassava to boil for the roti filling. So we have a large pot with water and we place the cassava in and we let it come to a boil. Yeah. We season it with salt, cover it and let it boil. We'll boil it until it's tender. So guys, we finished chopping up the duck and this is all the meat that one duck gave us. It was a lot of meat. So guys, here we are mixing the dough for the cassava roti and I'm sorry I missed the first part of it. But in the bowl we have grated cassava, flour, baking powder, salt to taste, which we mix in well together and use water as needed to bring the dough together. Once we finish kneading the dough, we use oil to coat the top and we let it rest for about an hour. So here we have the finished dough. And we'll give the meat a wash. and prep the ingredients we need for today cook. Cheers. So guys, the cassava for the roti filling is finished boiling. We take it off the heat, drain it, then we mash it so it becomes like mashed potato and this is what it's looking like here we have some pepper and garlic crushed together and we'll use this to season the cassava so we add it to the, the mashed cassava and we'll mix it in until it's well combined. We also season with some jeera powder and add salt to taste. 
We'll mix it in until it's well combined. So guys, the cassava mixture is ready and we let it sit until we're ready to make the roti. So guys, back outside and the kahari is on and we're ready to cook. And here is all the ingredients for today cook of course our duck meat we have chopped shallot and hot pepper onion garlic bay leaf maggi cube hot pepper yeah curry leaf and of course the curry mix in here we have curry powder, masala, jeera, and we use a little water to mix it into a paste. So we heat some oil and we add in the onion along with the bay leaf and curry leaf to saute. After a few minutes, we add in chopped garlic, give it a mix and let it continue to saute. After the garlic and the onion has been sautéing for a few minutes, we then add in the curry paste and let it choke. Then we add in hot pepper. We'll mix it in and let the curry continue to chow cake. Then we add in two Maggi cube and mix it in. So guys, for those of you who don't know what the term chow cake means, or what I mean by when I say chow ke in the curry is basically we are letting the curry fry in the oil or some of you might know it as burning the curry so what we are doing we are letting the curry fry in the oil so it brings out the flavor of the spices in the curry and the longer you let your curry fry the better your curry going to taste and it's a process that does not need to be rushed. You will know your curry finished chow ke and you see the oil starts to float on top and the curry starts to become clustered. Just like this, as you see, the oil is on top floating and the curry is dry. So now we add in the meat and we're going to let it bungee. So guys, we got all the meat in the kahari and we'll give it a mix and we'll make sure all the pieces are coated with curry and we're going to let it bungee and by bungee I mean we're going to let the meat cook in its own water until it's dried out and the curry is infused in the meat. We'll cover this and let it and let it bungee. So as you can see guys, 
the curry has been bunging for some time and you can see the liquid there that's what came out from the from the meat so we're going to let this continue to cook until all of that liquid is dried out and the curry is infused in the meat So guys check in on the curry and as you can see all of the liquid is almost dried out and the meat is well coated with the curry and it's exactly what we are looking for so now we add water for gravy we'll give this a mix cover it and let it continue to cook So back inside we are getting started with the cassava roti and the concept is just like potato roti or dal puri with the filling, the closing, the rolling, the cooking, it's all the same. So here we show you how to fill one roti and close it up. We'll continue to fill the rest and then we're going to roll and cook. So the first road is on and we're going to start the cooking. <laughs> so, so we're going to flip oil, flip oil until the roti is cooked. So we are going to continue to cook the rest of the roti. We have about 30 rotis to cook. Okay guys, we are finished making all the roti and of course a weekend is never complete without the baigan choka. If the tree have baigan, there must be baigan choka. You guys can go one week without baigan choka? Checking on the curry and look at this guys it's looking so delicious whilst making the roti inside the guys added potato this is looking so good too good So it's almost there. The potato needs to be tender. We'll cover it and let it continue to cook.
Ayan. So guys, for dessert, we'll be making an egg custard. So here we are cracking five eggs in a bowl. It's a simple and easy yet really delicious dessert. Then we add three cups of carnation milk. along with one cup condensed milk. Then we add one teaspoon of nutmeg powder and one teaspoon, one and a half teaspoon cinnamon powder. And about one tablespoon mixed essence. Give it a mix with the mixer for about two minutes. And there you go, our egg custard is finished. So guys, checking on the duck curry. It's almost finished, just a few minutes more. Here we top it off with chopped shallot and a handful of chopped parsley. We're going to let it cook just for a few more minutes and take it off the heat. How was the pepper? Oh no. I didn't taste no pepper. And just like that guys, from nowhere here comes the rain. And it's coming down really hard. So guys, back to the egg custard. We pour it into a baking dish and place it into a water bath. And we also sprinkle cinnamon powder on top. And we'll put this to bake for at least one hour, give or take. We have the oven preheated at 350 degrees. And we place the custard in and let it bake. And here we have some white rice cooking, basmati white rice, to go with our duck curry. So guys, the rain is still falling. And this is what it looks like when it's raining. And check the guys set up. They're under the umbrella. So the duck curry is finished and we'll take it off the heat. Enough. Are you ready? Two more? Yeah. Back up. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, That's Andrew Shear. Andrew Shear? You, you make know, hold you, the ball good, boy. You, um, you see, you know, you hold the ball good. That's why. Let's put the pepper. Right there, right, there, right on the spoon. Empty. One is for the meat, one is for the gravy. I did some 
ไม่ไหวเลยเนี่ยเวทีอีกขนาดกานเจ็บจะเบ่งสิงยัดสายโอเค guys let's go so we got the duck curry and the party continue inside as the rain come and mess up our fun outside Cheers guys, happy weekend. So guys, as the rain clears up, let me give you a quick look at today's goodness. So here we have our duck curry served with white rice and cassava roti and not forgetting the bacon choka. And the duck curry is looking so delicious. Check it out guys. And how was it? That's nice. It's like duck. Yum yum. And Sham, how was it? Aya? Vegetables. Hmm. Vegetables. Okay. It's good. <laughs> how is the food? Good. Like it? Yeah, I can And Charlene. Is it like duck or something? Yeah. I have both yeah. So guys, the custard is also finished baking. And we take it out of the oven and we're gonna let it cool. It baked for about 55 minutes. So guys, the egg custard was perfectly cooked. And it was delicious. It was too good. And it's an easy and simple recipe. So hope you guys give it a try. And dinner was delicious. The duck curry was absolutely amazing. And not forgetting the bacon choka was too good. The cassava roti was also delicious. You could taste the cassava in the roti. And it works well with the duck curry. So guys, we'll enjoy the rest of the evening. The guys are playing some cards. And this will be all for today's video. Thank you guys for joining us today. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to join the family. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. So you don't miss out on any of our video. With that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support. We really appreciate it. Have a safe and blessed week ahead and we'll see you on the next Weekend Vibes. Cheers!